Gladiators were trained athletes, rather like racehorses, in that careful attention was put to their diet and their training over a lifetime. That lifetime might be short, but it was intense. Heavy training, daily, for, for months if not years on end. It might be a year or even longer before Euxenus was allowed to have his first fight in the arena. But it wasn't just training that would radically change his body. You must conform to the rules. Submit to a diet. Refrain from dainties. You must drink no cold water, sometimes no wine. You must give your world up to a trainer as to a physician. Modern forensic science offers Dr. Kantz a revolutionary technique to work out what Euxenus's diet would have consisted of. He is trying to assess the levels of an element called strontium in the bones. The amount of strontium will reveal the proportion of vegetable matter in their diet. Dr. Kantz expects this to be lower in our gladiators since they needed protein-rich meat to build muscle tissue. The process is long and complex. Kantz must grind down the bones, eliminate all traces of organic material through heating, and use an emission spectrometer. This separates the different elements as wavelengths of light, enabling him to give an accurate reading. The results are astounding. The gladiator bones have a level of strontium twice as high as ordinary skeletons from Ephesus. This suggests the gladiators had an almost completely vegetarian diet. This may seem astonishing to us, but Dr. Kantz's further research shows that their diet is far more in tune with their lifestyle than we would think. Today in osteoporosis research, a lot is being done to see if administering strontium instead of calcium will encourage bones to become stronger. With bone fractures, if strontium is administered, the healing process takes place faster and the bone becomes more stable.